Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your man, Legacy the Prince. Your boy DJ Before You Are. Yes, sir. It's the Fresh Leftovers Radio Show, man. We here. FlowRadioShow.com. You know the vibes. We live and certified. We back in the building, man. We got a special guest in the building. Super excited, man. DJ, DJ, who we got in the building today, man? Man, we got Mr. Stefan, oh, no. a.k.a. the Sanctuary. Yo, yo, turn that mic down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Stefan is in the building, man. Hold on. You gotta drop my bomb, man. My bad. My bad. There we go. go. <laughs> How you doing, my brother? I'm good, man. How are y'all? Hey, man. I'm excited, man. I'm yeah. excited. For real? Yeah, yeah man. Sir. Glad, glad to have to you, man. I'm glad to be here, man. man you know the energy kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he fit right in there. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he came yeah. right in with oh, the yeah. energy. Yeah, we yeah. good. Yeah. I, I met Mr. Stefan um at one of DJ Network's event um when he had a panel we just uh with the artists um going on um. And uh, I remember seeing something on him also on the um, on the gram about with him called the Sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. So we was talking about he has an uh, event coming up with the Sanctuary on is it next? What? Yeah, uh, the twenty seventh, January twenty seventh, January so twenty next Saturday. The Sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, tell us, yeah, tell yeah, us about sorry. the Sanctuary. Oh, okay. I love to talk about the Sanctuary. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Listen, listen. So the Sanctuary is a God given vision that God gave me a long time ago. To create a Christian nightclub that will be uh, that will be designated to win souls who don't necessarily go to church. Everybody don't go to church, so God gave me the vision to create a Christian nightclub to be competitive with the secular nightlife here in Atlanta. Mm. So every time they open their doors, I want to help my doors to provide an alternative. So the vision was to have a freestanding building to offer all kinds of just cool different things, hip hop night, reggae night, all that kind of stuff. Mm. And so since the buildings are super expensive, we operate more like a pop-up night spot. So we rent out clubs all over Atlanta, event centers, bring our DJs in, bring artists in, we perform, praise, enjoy our night and go home. But when you come to the sanctuary, it's not, I tell, I'd be clear to tell everybody, it's not a church event at all, okay. it's a club. It's what, a club, what? it's a club, it's a club. People dance, we have a good time. Okay. Okay. The, the artists get on the mic and they rap and we put and then we go back to dance and we do line dance and all kinds of stuff. It's, it's a great night. So y'all swagging, sir? Yeah, we would. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's make a show. So yeah. you said it's a, it's a, it's a club, it's an alternative. Is it, is it anything like, cause you know, there's a lot of pop-up, uh, when I would say pop up, but there's a lot of Christian hip hop clubs popping up mm-hmm. now, right? Yeah. Um, shout out to JD with the Arc. I'm yes, sir. The yes, Arc sir. ATL. Um, what would separate the Sanctuary from the Arc, and why wouldn't you like partner with them? Hmm. Okay. Do the do the clubs in Atlanta partner with each other? I'm not. I'm not in competition, but Atlanta has millions of people here. So yeah. even, even if the Arc is killing <coughs> it, Sanctuary is killing it. You still need more than just one. Mm-hmm. You might not like mm-hmm. how I do it at the sanctuary. You might want to go to the Ark, and I have no problem with that. Okay, okay. Um, what separates us from the Ark is from 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 to me is longevity, and it's like I said, I know the Ark just kind of came out of um, still like they came out of nowhere. They're killing it though. Shout out to the Ark. Mm-hmm. I even got I went out there one night. Um, we've been here since 2007. Dang. For one, um, what separates us from the Ark? Though I think the vibe is different. Okay. The Ark is really, really like highly energetic. Sanctuary is kind of like a like a place you would take your lady, you know, you know, you got a DJ, you you spinning, you dancing, but the arc is just like on a, a, another level though. They like on a ten, we're like on energy level, we're like an eight, I guess at this point. So so maybe like lounge lounge kind of situation. Lounge slash club thing. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. Um, we still party, people dance. Like I said, like when I went to the arc, it was like it looked like a mash pit, a mush pit, a mosh pit. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what it yeah, looked it was like. Crazy. <laughs> <Except> the sanctuary, <laughs> it it's not like a mosh pit. It's more like, like I said, like, like if you looked at the clubs in the '90s, you got women and men dancing together, uh-huh. that kind of vibe. Okay, you know, and it's it's, it's strictly like Christian based, or is it? 99. I would say 80 20. I don't 80/20. mind playing secular stuff, but it's got to be appropriate. Okay, mm. you okay. know, okay. like my DJ. He's on fire. DJ Q's on fire. Uh, so we'll we'll play. We'll we'll, we'll do do some mashups. Then sometimes we we'll do some old school stuff. We might play some Frankie Beverly Mays, and you might play some Rob Bass. You might play just something. Might play Swag and Surf. You know, last one I ca- you know we 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 played Tootsie Roll the last one. So oh, I mean, for real? it just yeah yeah yeah. Oh oh oh. Butterfly. Oh that's old. Let me you yeah. see that Tootsie Roll. Yeah, we that's did Atlanta. that. Look look look. You don't know about none of that. So uh, Ira. Oh, my, my bad. Okay, my bad. But yeah, man, so we play whatever. But like I said, for me, it's got to be the content. I don't mind playing secular. We, you know, we play BBD, whatever gets people on the floor. But it's all, it's mostly it's mostly Christian hip hop. Okay. What's the age demographic? Age demographic right now is any age. Um, okay. Oh, shoot. But since I'm in my 40s, I feel like my demographic is kind of like late 30s, early 40s. 
I thought you said 88 for a second. I nah. was about to spaz out. Like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> 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 Come on, man. Anybody can come. It's, it's, a, you know, it's, it's a mature crowd, but anybody yeah. can come. People in their 20s and 30s come. My kids are part of it. They come. My kids are in their 20s. Okay. So they come. So, we have a good time. It's not like it's just a, like it's this old folks thing. We do something yeah. for everybody. Mm-hmm. So you say you started it in 2007? <clears throat> yes, sir. Hmm. That so, was- how, so how have you been able to um, maintain the longevity of it for so long? Yeah. And it And is it... How big is the crowd that you're 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 generating? That is a great question. Uh, it varies, actually. It very it varies. But you asked me two questions. Let me answer the first. Yeah, yeah, one. my fault. The longevity <laughs> is faith and pray prayer. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Faith and prayer and favor. Um, you know, some people offer me locations for free. Some you know charge me. So I'm I'm kind of restructured now to do more for free. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As opposed to having to pay a lot. The crowd I'm generating it actually. Uh, <laughs> It varies, like uh, it's kind of dwindled since COVID. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when I first started, we, you know, we was getting the hundreds and eighties and th- that kind of thing. On the average, right now, I don't know where we at because, like I said, we kind of back and forth right now. Mm-hmm. In different locations, like I'm traveling out of state now, doing it if not just in Atlanta anymore. Mm. So the crowds are varying. So how so. is it like out of state? Like what is that? What is that a uh, crowd like? And or what is that? How how is that being received? That Atlanta? is it's, it's received very well. The crowd wasn't good the last time I went, but that was that was that was just a lack of marketing. Okay, okay. You know, now that I know how to market in different areas, mm. it's going to be a little bit different. Like last year, we went to Ohio for the first time. You oh know, wow, at Columbus, Ohio. This year, we're going to Dothan, Alabama, and mm. Columbus, Ohio again. Mm. You know, so. So how's all right? So you said marketing. Tell us about some marketing strategies that you do. Like, wow, that's a great promote, question. Yeah. Uh, marketing strategies now, <laughs> the usual IG, TikTok, going to different events similar to the Sanctuary. Mm-hmm. Um, some places I'm partnered with to the point I can give out flies at their events. Mm-hmm. You know, hitting every every type of event in the land that I can go to, I go to um, building relationships. Uh, I think for I think what works for us is a more personalized touch though. Like if I meet you, you're gonna get a flyer, you're gonna get a personal invite from me. Like yo, it was good meeting you. I got my event coming up, come through. I'm trying to really connect with the churches a little bit more, so I've been mm. doing e blasts and send, sending them to churches and personally reaching out to some other ones I'm affiliated with. And my also marketing strategies, some churches still, although I feel like Christian nightclub is not new anymore and not uncommon. Okay. But to certain people, it's still foreign. So I'm, I'm actually starting to host some events in the churches to kind of get them to see what it looks like to kind of bring them on out to what we're doing. You So <clears throat> how, like, all right, I'm just, I'm curious about some of the churches you're going to uh, and how when they see what's going on, they got the DJ, they hear the DJ playing and spinning yeah. and everything like that. Like, what does that look like? Because are, are you talking to pastors or more like the people well, in being that I've been doing it for so long, I have a lot of relationships with a lot of pastors, but when they first started, it wasn't pastors, there's was artists that was rocking on my stage. Oh, okay, okay. And so I have a lot of relationships with those type of pastors. Mm. So they already fami- they're familiar with it. The congregation ain't always familiar with it. So what do you think it would take for Christian hip hop to really like infiltrate the church like it should? Mm, that is a great question. That's tough, my guy. I like that, that but one. That, but that, all honesty starts at the top, though. It starts with the, um, it starts with the pastors because the pastors have to say over the church, right? Yep. And uh, so I uh, think it, I think it takes with building yes, building relationships with the churches, with the pastors, and, mm-hmm. and slowly infiltrate it in there. Like I've been able to get it in, I've been able to get it in the churches. I was, I, I attended an all white church that had never heard of holy hip hop before, but based on who my character, when I yeah. told them what I was trying to do, they allowed me to put on a, con- a mini concert there. That's what's up. So it just depends. I think it's just it's just you have to be deliberate, deliberate and um, and formulate relationships because someone might know, hear of it, but when you're able to put a face to it and a yeah. heart to it, it's a little bit different. Are you afraid of any type of like? Well, I know you've been in the game for a minute. Have you received any like backlash for it? I look forward to it because mm-hmm. if I'm getting backlash, I feel like I'm doing something right. Because I knew when Sanctuary came, it was it was the, honestly reached those who were not the, the unreligious, the un the unreachable per se, or those who were turned off by church. So when I got backlash, it's always it was always from the church. Hmm. So when I got it, it bothered me, but I expected it. But fun, funny thing is, I haven't got as much as I thought. You know, I've had people tell me it's not of God. That's not of God. They watch my videos. That's not of God. That's not a Christian nightclub. Da 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 da. Or you know, night belongs to the devil. And I, when I first what started, night. <laughs> I know that's what they said. The night. Yeah, but the night belongs to the devil. You so gonna take the whole first couple verses right. of Genesis away from God? <laughs> yeah. And so what? So when I hear stuff like that, it just Bro, tells out, me man. I'm on. The, okay, cool. It lets me know I'm on the right path. So it doesn't really bother me anymore. I used to try to respond to that stuff. I'm like, you know what? I know what I'm doing. I know God called me. I'm not worried about my fruit speaks for itself you know let's mm. say you can tell the tree by the fruit it bears so if you call me evil and folks getting saved how is that you know how is that working 
So, how, so uh, I know you said you're a husband. Yeah. Right? And you said you got a daughter as well. Husband, father. I have a lot of kids. Oh, oh wow. father. I'm sorry. Yeah, What's sorry, a lot? I'm sorry. Kinda, I, I, what? What's a lot? Seven. Right, yeah. I think it's a lot. I was trying to achieve no, that's, that's that one in one moment. Seven? Yeah, I think it's a lot. That's amazing, man. I that's wanted 12 so before I got married. I mean, I'm a Brady Bunch family. Keep that uh, in mind. Okay, okay. But, you know, I do have seven kids. That's yeah. amazing, man. And they're all old. So how do you how do you balance uh, growing uh, growing the sanctuary and, you know, just taking off the different hats oh, that's and a, balancing it all well, together? I love that one. Um, in the beginning, it was a hard balance mm. because... When God gave me that vision, man, I took it off like, like, yo, this is my only purpose for living here. I was like, just sanctuary everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I realized as I grew older, you know, ministry happens at home first. Mm-hmm. But the cool thing for my balance is most of my family is my team. My, mm-hmm. my son is on my team. My daughter is on my team. My wife is on my sanctuary team. My wife is the booking manager, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's how we balance it. So it's, a family, it's a family affair for the most part, but we balance it just by, just by doing that. Mm-hmm. And I'll also try not to let it consume me. So when it's yeah. time for family time, it's family time. I have to apologize. Like, sorry, kids. It's, you know what? I'm about to talk about Sanctuary for a minute. Then I get right back to this, and then we yeah. move on. I was going to ask you, how did your wife receive it at first? I know, um, were you married at the time when it was first? Yeah, this is my second marriage. My okay. first wife received it um, when, I, when I first got the vision. My new mm-hmm. wife, she had no problem receiving it because that's the type yeah. of person she is anyway. Uh-huh. And... Um, as soon as I told her about it, she was all gung ho, like, yo, it's dope. She loved the vision. Yeah, yeah. And that was important for me, too, because this is my passion. This is one of my purposes. So, like, if, I, I can't marry you if you're not in, yeah, the, in yeah, alignment yeah. with that. I understand that. I, sh- so, I, understand I mean, I that. talked about that with her on, on our first date. So, <laughs> just to <laughs> find out. Let's go let's do the sanctuary, but, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, girl, oh, you ever been to the sanctuary? Ah, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right, right. You, I ain't talking about the holies of holies. Well, listen, talking about- listen, I'm a CEO, baby. I own my own Christian nightclub. You right. know? Let, me, let me tell you about myself here. <laughs> so how is that? All right. So what do, what do you see it in the, uh, for, say, in the future? Let's say another 10 years. In the, well, it's been 14. So let's look at 14. It's been 16. It's been 16. Hey, respect my time, bro. We got to put, put time, time on this, 13 man. plus 4. Listen, I got the vision in 17. 2007. So seventeen, yeah. yeah, going on seventeen. April, so, April this year be uh, seventeen years actually. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, so let's say uh, ten years in the future. You, what do you see it? What do you see the sanctuary, or what do you, what do you, what are your visions for the sanctuary? Well, my original vision honestly was to have a freestanding building, mm-hmm. and then I felt felt kind of weird not having a freestanding building. Building, then when COVID hit and I yeah. had no bills and then lose no money, yeah. I felt great. <laughs> and, and then it gave me, and it gave me more, a little bit more insight to just do more. I and mean, I'm seeing more pop up stuff, stuff happen. That's that's kind of the way I feel like it's going. Mm-hmm. It'd be more pop up oriented because it, it doesn't tie me to one location. Like I said, I've been in Atlanta for 17 years, but I haven't done events in the same spot a lot of times. Like I had, I held, it, I held it down to Atrium for a few months, then we moved up to like Atlanta, downtown Atlanta, then now I'm in Stockbridge. I did some in Morrow, so it gives us freedom to kind of go wherever we want to go. But also to answer your other part of your question, mm-hmm. um, honestly. I would like to see it in different states because I've, I've talked about franchising it before, like Sanctuary Atlanta, Sanctuary Ohio, Sanctuary Chicago, wherever God wants to take it. Mm-hmm. I'm open. I'm not going to stand in the way of it. So, That's what's up. You should do some rooftops. I would love to do that. Oh, that would be tough. <laughs> that would be tough, bro. That would be but tough. But even, even when I retire or yeah. get too old to do it, my kids are prepared to take over. So okay. it's gonna go forward regardless. Mm. Yeah. So you passing it? You passing it? Passing the, or you training them up? No. Yeah. yeah. And they told well, he me that. He already trained up. So <laughs> they told me that. I didn't even know. Like we was in the interview doing a, talking about legacy, mm-hmm. and they told me they had already had the Come conversation among. Huh? Come on. No. no, oh, no oh, I, was, oh, I, was, oh. I was in the interview talking Boo. about legacy. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did. You, you thought about it. You thought about it. You thought about it. <laughs> 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 what? You know, they, they, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bro. Let yeah. so they, they told me they was prepared to do it. I'm like, okay, dope. So that made me feel good. Like, okay, cool. I ain't got to worry about you know finding somebody to replace me when I get too old to do it. Or just mm. God tell me to let's know, let the new generation up or whatever. So I'm good with that. That's but crazy. they were raised in it. I love the fact that they don't know life outside the sanctuary. Like they were born into it for the most part. When I started doing the sanctuary, my oldest was like six. Oh wow! Yeah. Damn. That's wow, yeah. wow, 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 man! So hey, what, what could we look forward to at this event? Like, um, you, you, I'm assuming you've been doing a lot of marketing. I've been doing a lot of marketing. I hope it's I hope it's effective. I hope it works. We'll see. But what you can expect, um, we got the Unity tour coming through, so you're gonna expect some performances from them. Okay. I got a special guest performance that I'm not announcing. Oh wow, that's crazy. You go know, ahead, go ahead. You can always me. drop the exclusive. Right. You know what? I will do that. I will do that. <laughs> 
You know, y'all, y'all, y'all twisted my arm. I will drop it. But what you can expect, you can have an amazing time. You can expect to come and dance and be lit. It won't be a church type setup. You, if you've been to a regular club, Sanctuary looks just like that, but it's just a godly atmosphere. That's the only difference. I mean, you know, church is swag and surfing now, so yeah, know. yeah, yeah. So it's not that different now, right? <laughs> it, it'll look like it'll look like that church. Oh my um, god! <laughs> but you can expect to have a good time, have life changing experiences. You can expect an encounter with God. So what I am going to introduce to you guys. And I'll get you this music after this. Okay. My wife, who we who we mentioned earlier, she is actually an artist, and I'm her manager. Okay. And she actually is an, she, not actually she's an amazing artist, and she just dropped her first single, and um, it's dope. It's a dope song. So she's actually gonna be our surprise guest performance at this event. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, what's up, Lady, uh, Lady, Lady B. B. Okay, Lady okay. B. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Lady I was B. looking at the um actual fly. I didn't see her name, so okay. Yeah, that's 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 that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's a surprise. That's a surprise. You can't yeah, put yeah, them yeah. on a fly to say a surprise performer. So uh, a surprise I didn't before. know if it was her face on here or not. Nah. I, I don't know this on your lady. Now. I got you. I, I got you. So that's what you can expect. You can well, expect. I see highlight on here. Yeah, highlights there. Shout out to highlight man. You can expect, the, you can expect some line dancing, just all kinds of dope stuff. It's gonna be a dope night. I'm I'm super super excited. And the location. Um, golly, you would. I know up. the location. I got you, bro. You got, you got the fly. <laughs> I, 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 I was gonna let you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you got free life events in it. Yes, sir. Free That's, life, free life, free life. Free life. That's 1445 Rock Quarry Road, Stockbridge, Georgia, Suite 202. Okay, 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 okay. And let, um, let them know where they can follow you, man. All that good stuff. Thank where they can you, follow the, uh, the sanctuary, uh, given the dates, all of that good stuff, my brother. They can follow us on Instagram, um, TikTok, the sanctuary, T H E. S A I N T U A R Y Club. You trying you trying to spell it with me? No, no. I, I, yeah, I was. <laughs> it's spelled it's spelled the same way everything is. The Sanctuary Club. Nah, cause you know people be trying to be creative. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah. put a V with an A is at. Yeah. Like. Well, God gave me the spelling. I didn't choose to spell it, but God gave me the spelling. But anyway, it's T H E S A I N T U A R Y Club on everything that we do. TikTok, Instagram, our website, same. Bet, 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 man. Listen, um, and the next one is on which date again? January 27th. January 27th. Okay, that's what. Okay. Next week. That's next yes, week. Yep, Saturday. Bet, 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 bet. And I'm comping all y'all. I'm comping your tickets. So I want all y'all to come. Y'all get in for free on me. Oh! Everyone in this room, get in free on me. So then you won't have to ask me about what you say. I'm going to need like. two for my wife. Because I can't, I can't show up without her. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. This is what we're going to. Uh, how are we doing it? Uh, let's, get, let's get it on the record. record here, how are we doing it? It's like 12 of us right here. 12 of y'all. Yeah, everybody got a plus one, though. Yeah, everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling generous. I, listen, I'm we, feeling we, generous. we gotta live here. You don't, bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling generous <laughs> enough. We gotta live with you them. You know how the wives is. Come you on. know how they are, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> y'all, y'all all get a cop plus one. Oh! Yeah, do, yeah, do that thing again. Do that thing again. I like that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. I like that. I like yeah, that. There I like we go. that. Oh so, man, just keep man, yes. tell you what, man. Listen, make sure you keep us informed as you continue to do this. Definitely. We want to, if you're especially when you're doing it in the city. One of our goals is to create, um, uh, basically, basically be on our website to create or create a spot where people can know where to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we need we need everybody who's doing yeah. anything such as yourself, like the mm-hmm. sanctuary, to keep us informed. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yep. So we can let the people know, man. You know Flow saying? Mafia deep now. It's deep. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's weird. But yeah, man, God is good, man. Listen, yo, everybody in the Flow Mafia, you know the vibes, man. Tap in with the sanctuary, copy your tickets, man. Oh um, yes. pull up, man. We about to be there deep. You know how it is, man. Facts. Come kick it with us, man. Let's get some line dances in. You know what I mean? Let's play that Jamaican music. I'm wild. I'm just letting yeah, you know we, right we now. Do that. We do that. <laughs> beats all that stuff, man. <laughs> now we ain't playing no go go. Nobody plays play go go nowhere. You don't play go go. I, right? I was talking. Nobody play, no, nobody play no go-go nowhere, brother. All right, man. Oh. oh, my God. Yo! I missed it. Oh, oh man. man. They do me dirty. They do oh, me dirty, man. man. They I do me that. dirty, bro. It's crazy, so. man. My brother, you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, man. I had a great time. I had a great time before the mics was on, after the mics was on. It's crazy, hey, right? I still want to hang out for the next interview. Man, pull up. We got yeah. nothing but chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space and opportunity, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's open, uh, open door policy. Here. Open door policy, That's man. What's up. But yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and land this plane real quick, man. Make sure you tap in, man, with the sanctuary. Oh, pull quick. up. What do they follow you at? Oh, yeah, yeah, that too, that too. I'm the sanctuary, same thing. Oh, you don't got no personal page? I want them to find my personal page. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I don't actually. I don't have a sanctuary. Is my I personal phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can oh, follow man. me on Instagram for the sanctuary. 
That's it. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, when I come for the sex follow him. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, Flow Mafia, make sure you tap it, man. Copy your tickets, and we'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>